All right, this is junior high math. And this review will cover um, sections 11.5 through 11.7. Uh, this test is on Friday, um, April. Let's see what date that is. April the 19th. Okay. But the only things that will be covered on the test will be um, finding x and y intercepts. Um, also, um, finding slope. Um, and graphing. So just three sections now. Um, very quickly, I'm going to go over how to find the x and the y intercept. When you are um, looking for the x and the y intercept, um, all that you um, all that you must do is to, um, if, for instance, if we had two x plus two y equals six, okay, something like that. And I said uh, find um, x intercept, and I said find y-intercept. Then all we would have to do if we're looking for the x, then you plug a zero for the y. And if you're looking for the y, uh, just substitute or plug a um, zero for the x. At, basically you are eliminating uh, the variable that you are not looking for. So like in this one, we're looking for the x in this problem. So we'll come in and say 2x plus 2 times 0 equals 6, 2x equals 6, and x divide both sides by 2, and x would equal 3. All I did there was plug a 0 in where my uh, y was right here, and anything times 0 is 0. So that kind of cancels that out. Leaves you with 2x equals 6, divide both sides by 2, and x equals 3. Now, to find the y, we just do the opposite. We say 2 times 0, because that's where x was, plus 2y equals 6. Know that um, 2 times 0 will cancel and leave me with 2y is equal to 6. We'll divide by 2, and y is equal to 3. So the x-intercept was 3, and the y-intercept was 3 on that one, and that's fine. On this one, you do not have to put it into uh, the um, equation of a line. You can just basically plug in uh, for the opposite one. Uh, and that's section one, which is fairly easy. Now, section two, finding slope, I can ask it in one of two ways. I can either say, find the, um, the slope of the line passing through each pair of points. Um, so, for instance, on this one right here, um, what I always do, and I'm going to give you this formula on this first test. M, which stands for slope, is equal to Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. All right, now, go in and label. This is a point, this is the first point at 18, and the second point is negative 7, 14. Just go x and y, x and y. All right, so this is the first point, so it's 1 and 1 subscripted, and this is the second point, 2 and 2. Now all I do is plug into my formula, which I'll say 14 minus 10 over negative 7 minus 8 14 minus 10 is 4, negative 7 uh, minus 8, same sign sum, so it's negative 15, and so my slope is negative 4 fifteenths, and that's fine. If you can reduce it, reduce it, or not. Now, sometimes it works out um, that it's, uh, this is a negative slope, and slopes are either going to be uh, one of these four. So slopes are um, either positive, negative, okay, positive, negative, zero, or undefined. All right, now these two are the normal types of slope. Zero is whenever we uh, take the changes in the y, so if we're doing y2 minus y1, and we get zero on top of the fraction. So if it's something like zero equals three, for instance, then that slope is just zero. Now, if we do it, and let's say we find it uh, for undefined, 
Uh, let's look at this. Let's say uh, we plug our points in and we get negative 2 minus uh, 6 over uh, 3 minus 3. And so on top we would have negative 8 and on the bottom we would have 0. If 0 is under the fraction, under means undefined. You would pick undefined or write undefined. Okay? So your slopes are either going to be positive, negative, zero, or undefined. Now, uh, the other way we can say find the slope of each line is I just give it to you in the equation of a line. And the equation of a line is y equals mx uh, plus or minus b. Okay? m is my slope. It's the coefficient of the x. So in this situation, uh, negative 5 is the coefficient of x, so my slope is negative 5. Okay, in this one, my slope would be negative 1 fifth. In this one, my slope would be 1 over 4. Okay, now the last number in all of these is my y-intercept or my b. So my y-intercept in this one is negative 1. My y-intercept in this one, or my b, you know, you can call it as my negative 4. And then this one is a positive 1. Okay. Now, the only problem that could be hard would be this. And the reason why is it's not in the form y equals mx plus b. So when we get to this, you just have to solve for y. So right here is a two-step. So we're going to say 2x minus 2x plus 3y equals 9 minus 2x. That way those two x's right there will cancel. Leave me with 3y is equal to negative 2x plus 9. Now this part is 3 is being multiplied times y, so I'm going to divide by 3, and if I, I have to divide them all by 3. y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 3. So my slope, or my m, is equal to negative 2 thirds, and my y-intercept, or my b, is equal to 3. Okay, now, um, those are the first two sections of the test. The last section of the test is going to have you to do some graphing, okay? And graphing, uh, most people tend to be afraid of, but it's really not hard at all. Um, the way we want to graph, we want it in y equals mx plus b, and if it's not in that, then like we just did the previous problem, solve for y. So in this one, always start with the last thing first. So negative 1 is my y-intercept. That means that is where uh, the equation of the line crosses the y-axis. So I just start here at 0, 0 and go down one place and put a dot. Now my slope is 3 over 5. Since it's positive 3 fifths, it's either going to go 3 over 5 or negative 3 over negative 5 because both of those are 3 fifths. So I go from here and so I'm going to grab the first one first. Three. This is rise over run. So it rises three, one, two, three, and goes to the right five places. One, two, three, four, five, and I put my dot. Now here is negative three, negative five. I go back to the y-intercept, which is right here. I go down one, two, three, and to the left five places. One, two, three, four, five, and put my dot. So then I want to connect. So then I show that this line passes through um, those three points. And so that is a positive slope. Now, you're given something like this, x equals 5, and you, oh, don't know what to do. Just go x equals 5, go to the right five places, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and put a dot. There is no y. There's no y-intercept. This slope would then go straight up and down which means that it's a vertical line, so that slope is undefined, okay? Um, this one, y equals three, there's no x, I just go up three places, one, two, three, put my dot. Now this one runs parallel to the x, so that slope is zero. So you have zero slope is a horizontal line, a vertical line is undefined, and that's how we graph x equals 5. And then a normal, uh, just graphing, is negative 1 is our y-intercept, and our slope is 3 over 5. Um, 
I think um, for a bonus tomorrow, um, I would want to know um, slope is equal to the delta or change in the y's over the delta or change in the x's. So I want you tomorrow on the test to put delta y's over delta x's. All right, that is your test. Good luck and uh, see you in the morning.